Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 6 of Forgecraft, where I'm hanging out without Soren today, and I'm gonna make a mess of the base. Nobody tell Soren. Hanging out with a bunch of Forgecrafters, uh, and I am now gonna play with power a little bit. I think that's the plan for tonight. I want to check out this power mod a little bit more. So I got myself a book so I can make a manual, and we're gonna check this dude out. Welcome back, Direwolf20. Well, thank you, power That is very kind of you. Blocks! So we already found out the energizing orb. Oh, you can have multiple of these things? That's cool. Use to energize items. Require at least one energizing rod in range of a nine by nine to work. I like that. Look at that. Look at that. It's, it's a nine by nine area of effect. That's the way it should be. The energizing speed depends on the amount of rods and the rod tier IO rate. Cool. Uh, the orb does not require energy, but the rods must be placed on cables or any forge energy block to work. When placing the orb and rod in range, will automatically link to each other. Also, you can use the wrench with link mode to relink them. Nice. All right, cool. So we already checked out some parts of this mod, um, but I need to learn more about it. Because I want, A, like, burning coal all day is getting a little bit boring, especially as I'm trying to store more energy and things. Uh, so I want to check stuff out, right? So energy cells we've already played with, right? Basically, you know, yeah. We've, we've got energy cells. We've already played with those yet. Ender cells. Use to store energy to the ender network of the owner. You can access the energy stored from anywhere in the world by selecting an active channel you want to use from the GUI. The channel start with zero forge energy capacity, so you need to add capacity to it by shift clicking an energy cell or battery to the ender cell GUI. That's cool. Oh, max capacity a channel can have is 2 billion. The ender cell that you want to transfer power from and to should have an active channel with a valid capacity. So I'm guessing that's wireless power. I'm guessing. Uh, Furinators, we already checked out, generates forge energy by consuming, you know, wood, fuel, something like that. Uh, and speaking of that, I, I would like to see, do we have Ender IO yet? No. Tree farm of some kind? What are our farming options? Is there any way to automatically farm wood at this point? Um, so we have Batania. I wonder if we could set up a tree farm with Batania. That seems reasonable, right? Does that seem reasonable? I feel like that's reasonable. Um, you know, there's bonsai pots. Batania is broken. Oh, rip. So there's botany pots. That looks like it's doing sugar cane for us. That's cool. Infinity drill. Do what now? That is a lot of power. Tier rare. <laughs> Shiny efficiency 13. Miner's Fervor, 11. Fortune, 13. There's some OP enchants on this server. That's all I'm going to say. Just a little bit of overpowered enchants on this server. Uh, so we checked that out. Magmatic Generators generates forge energy by consuming high temp fluids like lava. High tiers just burn fuel faster. Fair enough. Thermal generators generates Fe when placed on top of a high temp block. And fluid like lava requires a coolant fluid or water to run. So I guess you put the thermal generators on top. Okay. Of lava. That's interesting. And then just keep coolant inside. I might want to check that one out. That might be cool. Solar panels. Seems pretty straightforward. Reactors. These are what I kind of wanted to play with today. A multi-block generator uses uraninite as the main fuel. To build it, you will need 36 reactor block in your hand and placing them in a 4x3 replaceable area. Uh, then build the reactor. Uh, then the reactor will complete, building itself automatically. Oh my, look at that. Uh, when generating energy, the reactor heats up, causing it to consume fuel faster and generating less Fe per tick. So you need to cool it down using a coolant like water. Also, you can use a solid coolant like snow or ice for extra coldness. Solid coolant requires liquid coolant to work. Yeah, interesting. Okay. So in order for you to have solid coolant, I guess you need water in there as well. Keep the reactor buffer full of fuel for better production. Carbon materials like coal, wood will improve the fuel efficiency and will add 180 degrees C of heat. Redstone will speed up the production and the fuel consumption and will add 120 degrees C of heat. So basically this stuff, it seems like is optional over here on the UI. So you need the uraninite stuff, which we've kind of got some of, right? Um, so that's neat. I'm kind of interested in that. But do we need 36 blocks 
of the reactors, right? So does that mean if I want to make a basic, like a starter reactor, I need 36 blocks of these? Well, the good news there is you get four per craft, so that ain't terrible, right? Um, basic, hardened reactor, blazing, niotic, spirited, and nitro reactors are the tiers. Okay, that's cool. Now, player transmitters, I believe, are kind of like going to charge items. Yeah, charge items and linked player inventory, including armor slots and offhand. Anywhere in the same dimension for the basic one and across dimension for the dimensional. Both transmitters require a binding card to link. The dimensional transmitter can hold up to two binding cards. Well, that's cool. So my buddy Soren can have one. Yeah. Now, I remember there being... Wasn't there dry ice in this? Yes. So you can energize blue ice to make dry ice. Interesting. And that's nine packed ice. And that's nine ice. So that's a lot of ice. Now, what does my mining gadget turn water into? I'm asking for a friend. I mean, there's packed ice here, right? <clears throat> Boom. It makes packed ice. Okay. So that's a thing. What I need to do is get the new version of Mining Gadgets on here because the new version of Mining Gadgets allows you to have both Silk Touch and Fortune in the laser at the same time, just not enabled at the same time. Which is cool, I think. It's something I had meant to do a while back and just never got around to, so we just added that feature. Uh, but I don't know if we have any bugs in the current version before we build it, so I don't want to do that. But new version of Mining Gadgets will make it so you can have both upgrades installed at the same time. Oh, hello, Ice. Sweet. Excellent. Packed Ice. Okay. Good to know which one's which. I should put you on Precision mode. I like it. Hello, Ice. All right, precision mode off. All right. So we can totally get a healthy amount of packed ice, which we can turn into blue ice, which we can then turn into um, dry ice if we decide we want to go that route. Right? So that's cool. All right, so now that we know all about that coolness, I'm going to put away, I'm going to put my fortune upgrade there. I'll leave silk in the tool for now, but I kind of want to see if we can play with that. So here's my question, right? Can I upgrade these reactors at some point? Okay, so once I make whatever tier of reactor I decide to go with, I'm stuck at that tier, right? Um, so that sounds about right. I guess I can't upgrade the reactors from one tier to the next. And I guess I need 36 of each of these, right? So I need to basically make nine sets of these if we want to get a reactor going. Right. Right. Now, nitro crystals are what? Oh, nether stars. Yeah, we're probably not going to do that one. <laughs> probably not going to do that one. What's spirited need? Spirited crystals... Needs emeralds. Okay. And a million forge energy per crystal. And just to be clear, uh, nitro crystals need 20 million forge energy per 16 nitro crystals. And does require another star. Okay. Got it. And niotic is diamonds. 300 FE. 300 K FE, right? Um, Harden sounds like a good time. I feel like Harden's where I want to be at. Right? Because I feel like blazing needs a lot of blaze rods, I presume. Yes. Either blaze rods or blaze dust. Um, I mean, it might be doable. How are we on blaze rods? I know Soren had a bunch in here. Yeah, we've got like two stacks of blaze rods. So that might be doable. Right? Might be doable. Um, so ultimately, you get two blazing capacitors for four blaze rods. Right? Um... So that's two blaze rods per capacitor, and it's a one-to-one -one capacitor, right? So we need 72-ish blaze rods. Am I doing that math correctly? I think that's correct. 
Blazing might be cool. Blazing might be the way I want to go. I think I'm going to go Blazing. I think we've got enough Blaze Rods to do that. Um, now, 90,000 Forge Energy times... I mean, 72 is not much. We can totally pull that off. That's like, you know... Yeah, that's not a problem. Okay. I'm down with that. I like that plan. Oh, okay. Yes. So that sounds cool. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try that today. Now, let's see. I wonder if I can automate this dude at all. Into fire. Advancement made. Do you, like, do the thing or what? Oh, maybe you need to be, like, a particular tier. Oh, hello. You ate my blaze rods, didn't you? Rip. Rip. Do you think he needs to be a particular tier? No, the energizing orb doesn't need a particular tier. Um, do you think you think I need, like, blazing tier rod? Like, this thing needs to be blazing tier? Cause, oh, no, he's cool. He's running. But putting two in at a time, it nopes out. Okay, that's why. Let me go back to one at a time, and we're good. All right, I'm down with that. Now, the speed, obviously, at which this thing outputs is going to be heavily dependent upon... Yeah, he's 10, 50, 120. Blazing is 300 forge energy per tick. Okay, I think that's where we're going to want to be if we can. Sounds like a good time. We should upgrade this because this is going to take a long time at 10 forge energy per tick, right? Because that's 200 forge energy per second. And you need 90,000. So 90,000 divided by 200 is how many seconds? It's a lot of seconds. It's a real lot of seconds. <laughs> so why don't we upgrade that thing, right? So let's get, um, let's try energizing blaze rod. Yeah, the blaze rod one. So that's gonna require one of you and that's gonna require one of you. So we need a starter and then we'll need a hardened, which I don't know why I can't add you. Oh, there you are, hardened. Okay, cool. So. Like, right now, you're starting, right? That's what we are looking at right here. Energizing Blaze Rod Basic. Oh, I already have the basic one. Well, that's good. So now we just need Hardened. So that's actually 50 Forge Energy per tick that it's doing. Uh, so Hardened and then Blazing would be cool. So you'll be a Hardened Capacitor. And we want a block of quartz. We can pull this mostly off, I think. I think. Hopefully we have enough resources. If not, eh, we'll figure it out. Hey, we do have some energized steel, so that's cool. Just grab a bunch of resources for now. Uh, I know we're going to want a lot of iron, and I feel like we should have a decent amount. Now, this dielectric paste stuff needs a lava bucket and clay, but I think we should be good on that, right? Yeah, we should be cool there. All right. Let's do, let's do the thing, right? How about... See, this is why I want to refine the storage system, so I know where things are. All right, so now we want some dielectric casings, right? So let's get some of you. Should have worked. Oh, backup in progress. Everybody freeze. That's my new motto when it says backup in progress. Those backups, ouch. All right, so that's that, that's that. And then we want the quartz, that's right. I was forgetting something. Gravel can go away. And I'm going to put the ice away for now, but we will absolutely try to come up with a cool way to automate ice. If we can. No promises. All right, so you need quartz block. And then we want a couple of these dudes, right? So we need basic capacitors. I know I've got some redstone blocks already made, so I might as well use them. I'm just gonna get a bunch of those because I feel like we're gonna want a lot in the future. So these dudes. So let's get our energized rod. Okay, so that took like a million years. But we can upgrade him now. Sweet. Okay. And then to find out if we can automate this thing, because hopefully we can. I imagine we can. So that should go a lot quicker now, because the this is 120 forge energy. So like more than double, right? And then when we get to 300 forge energy, it should be much quicker. So that's cool. 
All right, so with that made, right, now we want the blazing one. Okay, so we're gonna need four of these to get that. So let's test, let's test a hopper. Cause I'm curious, like, will the hopper try to put too many in at once? I suspect it probably will. Um, but I see we have Xnet on the server, so that's cool. Yes, he totally did. <laughs> so that's a thing we need to be aware of, right? Hoppers are just gonna put too many in at once. But I see we have Xnet, so that might be a smart way to do that, right? So guys, my uh, energizing rod is a little bit low on power. And the main reason, power cables. Power cables are weak. They don't transfer enough RF for me. Uh, and I'm also low on, you know, just overall power. So I'm gonna get some more coal for this guy. But this is the reason we're doing this, right? We're low on power, right? All right, so let's do, we're gonna want upgraded power cables, probably at least hardened here, right? So how does that work? So I can take existing basic energy cables and these guys are iron, okay, so that's cool. So what are these? These are basic tier. So we're already at basic tier, which does 1.4 thousand forge energy per tick. So why do I feel like you don't have, you shouldn't be struggling that hard, but this is 5,000 forge energy per tick. Okay, I can do another one of these. That's cool. All right, now I need more of that paste stuff. That's why we did that. Okay. Luckily, you get a decent amount of this per craft. So now what we want is <clears throat> more of you hardened dudes, which means more of these guys. I'm gonna call that good. 24 cables for now should be cool. And I'm gonna call this my, you know, chest that I'm putting these things in. All right, so that should keep my hardened tier rod going a little bit better. That seems better, but he still seems like he's struggling to maintain his power. But like hardened tier rod does 120 forge energy per tick, where hardened cables can transfer 5,000. So I call shenanigans on that a little bit. But two more of these blazing crystals is what we need. All right, guys, we're back. So uh, blazing capacitor now. Uh, that should get me this dude. So I need to get this and another one of these dielectric casings, which I can easily convert the horizontal to vertical. Uh, that's cool. So that's you. So I just need another quartz block. Now, I'm being told that we can have multiple of these. Oh, a wild wild. What's up, buddy? All right, so that definitely seems like he's, slow, he's, he's a little bit slow to fill up, but not terrible. So now how fast are you to charge that dude? Hopefully pretty quick. Shouldn't take that much longer now. And remember, we can have more of these, right? All right, guys, we're back. So uh, what I'm doing is I'm working on some x -Netty stuff. I definitely want to make... I keep forgetting that you can't just use Lapis now. You have to use Blue Dye. And it's killing me. Literally killing me. Literally every time I go to craft something. And I'm just like, oh, really, though? Really, though? Really, though? That's what I keep saying to myself. Um, but that's okay. We'll get over it. We will get past this. This too shall pass, as they say. All right, I don't need my crafting table on me. I think that's good enough inventory cleanage for now. So give me two of these. 
I think I need three for the comparator, right? Yes, cool, which means you're ready to be made. Controller, good. Cables, good. And connectors, good. I think that's how I need. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that uh, this will work. So you should get power, yay. I guess I need a connector on the actual controller. Is that true? Oh, look at that. You can hold shift, that's nifty. Oh, that's right, they're not tile entities. How even though? How even are they not tile entities? Right? How are they not tile entities? That's what I wanna know. McJD magic is what it is. McJD magic for sure. All I want to mod is is to let you craft anything that needs blue dye directly with lapis. That's what we need as a mod. If recipe requires blue dye, lapis works. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure if that mod doesn't already exist, it will momentarily. Uh, so let's see. Channel one will be an item channel. Um. And then this guy, and this guy, right? So I want this to be an extract, single item, stack, or count. I don't think we have to worry about color, right? Um, blaze rods, I think that's right. Um, and then the insert piece of that Max amount in destination inventory will be one. That's what we want, right? And then the extract, we will also make it uh, extract uh, amount to keep in destination. Oh, amount in destination inventory to keep. Okay, that's cool. Okay, so now if I put like that in there, it's only gonna put one in. That's cool. That's cool. I like that, okay. That's neat. All right, so then what I'm gonna do in addition to that then um, is have another logic channel, or not logic. Man, look at that little pop-up window uh, item. And you are going to create and create, and instead you're gonna be the extractor, uh, and you're gonna be a blacklist mode for this. Right? So you're not going to allow blaze rods to come out. And you're going to insert. And that should work, right? So now we should have pretty much an automatic crafter doohickey. That sounds neat to me. I think it's working, dudes. We're getting blazing crystals. Nice. All right, so how many blazing crystals did we say we need? Um, we get two blazing capacitors. So we need like 72-ish. Right? Because I need 36 reactors and I need half, I need twice as many um, blazing crystals. Right? So 72. So we've currently got nine. So 63 plus 9 is 72, right? I think. I like it. Okay. Back in a minute, guys. All right, guys. We are back. And uh, what I made is two more energizing rods. Because I wanted to try having multiple rods feeding into this guy. Because remember, it works in a 9x9 nine nine pattern. So now I put my blaze rods in here, and these guys should all cook pretty quickly. Oh wait, I have to change. I had to change up a little bit of what I was doing. So I wanted to have. I wonder if I can have this all in one channel now. It might be doable. Let me like disable processing on you for a minute. Well, we'll see. Hang on. Um, so we want one of you. Should be cool. Adding this here should be good. There you go. Sweet. Three lasers now. Pew. 
Dude, I love those lasers. They are fancy looking. And that should run a little bit quicker. Definitely faster. Definitely faster. Now, I'm not going to grab more blaze rods because I totally used more blaze rods to make these things, but I think it's worth it. All right, this is working. And I also added somewhat of an automation so that iron goes in and gold goes in so I can make energized steel. And that seems to be working. Now, how am I for fuel? Uh, seen better days, Dyer. Seen better days. We are going to have to come up with a better fuel source. Lickety split. Oh, right, I'm making a reactor. That's why I'm doing all this. So let's come back in a few minutes once uh, this dude's ready. And uh, we'll be right back. Can I speed you up a little bit? Like ticks per operation? Yeah, not unless I do the advanced. Which I don't think I can do. Yeah, I mean I can do. I mean I can do. It's not worth it though. So we'll be back in a few. Alright guys, we're back. So, now I need to smelt raw uraninite. I don't see any way to process this. Except smelting it, obviously. So, I mean there's also... By this the way, one. Dyer, that stuff does respond to looting. Does it? Yeah. Nice. So yeah, my, uh, sorry, Fortune. So my Fortune 12 pickaxe is quite nice on it. Ugh. I gotta look into that. So in order to get these ridiculous enchants that you guys are getting. You bought um, the Hell Shelf, apparently. Is that it? Yeah. So you just get the Hell Shelf from Apotheosis. Uh, yeah, an enchanting set I'm using them. And the enchanting table from it as well. So is it like you use hell shelves instead of bookshelves? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So like the standard number of hell shelves. Yep. And you can enchant them too, I believe, to make them even yep. stronger. Oh. You can increase them to four power. Okay. Cool. With, I guess it's what, hell infusion? Yep. Okay, I see, yes. And that gets up to Hell Infusion 10, gives you 4x enchanting power. That is ridiculous. I do like the idea of, like, stupidly overpowered enchants, though. Right? Oh, they're a lot of fun. Yeah. Just if you're not expecting them and you don't balance anything around it, it's, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a surprise. I mean, I'm on board. I'm on board with overpowered. Are you guys low on power here or something? Like what you One of the about? servers I ran, we added it, and it's like everything just went. <laughs> nice. I like it. That's not it. an ender dragon. That's a dead ender dragon. Seriously. All right, guys, we're back. So nine to merge those two swords together. Now I can make reactors times thirty-six. Sweet. All right. Put you on uh, precision mode real quick. <laughs> now, if only Discord integration allowed you to see the tooltips of things. Yeah, I know. That would be kind of neat. Oh, that's neat. Look at that. That's uh, cool. I think I'm gonna go back and make another sword and see I like if I that. can get looting. Actually, technically, I don't think it could because it is server side. Yeah, but it does see the packet info, doesn't it? Because that's just a um, that's uh, that's just a tag. Hello. So if Neat. it had tag processing, it should be able to do it. That is cool beans right there. Hello. Oh, I mean for like translation case. That is cool. And oh, like yeah. add tool tip information and stuff. I don't think I've ever actually seen a um, power multi block form. That is so cool. Yeah, that that was a cool looking that was a cool looking reactor build. That is nifty right there. Isn't that neat? Yeah. I like that. So now we need to pump water into it, I presume, right? Some kind of liquid coolant and some solid coolant as well. Now I just happen to have a laser that makes me ice. It's just something I happen to have. So I can do blue ice, right? Um, and 
what I'm going to do is add that over here to this guy, right? So your insert will be the blue ice. Actually, I need two blue ice, don't I? Yes. Yes. So I might want a fourth channel for this. One of you guys should be an extract. Yes, this one blacklist. Blacklist blue ice. Because we want two of these, right? So we want another item channel here. That's going to uh, extract from the chest. There we go. And insert blue ice two. So I do that, and we should put two in there, and then it's going to craft, and then we get the dry ice out. Perfect! Perfect! That is cool beans. So, what do we end so dry ice has to go in there, but we also need liquid coolant, right? So let's get, uh, for now, we'll just get like a 2 by 2 of water, and then we'll have to figure out what on the server can automate water for us. All right, I'll pick that I think I think I did it all. Back up in progress. Everybody panic. That backup though. Woo! Rubber bandy. Mm-hmm. That's the one. How many are you storing? Holy moly! I just got 70 levels. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> X. So, so what is it? Knowledge of the ages that turns loot into experience? Is that what it does? Yeah, I'm back up to. I was on four levels four hits ago in the Enderman farm. I'm now on 124 levels. In My four goodness, hits. sir. There you go, back to 152. 166. Whee! 173. 182. And we're back to the CPW number station. <clears throat> yes, I've still oh, got yeah. silk on, so that's good. 200 levels. Come on. There we go. 200 levels. <laughs> this is so OP. <laughs> oh, it only holds one bucket's worth at a time. Okay, that's good to know. So then what goes in here? Um... That is wonderful. Let's look at the book. I want to make sure it's like the raw or the processed. I assume it's processed, right? Like I process the uraninite and then put it that book. There we go. I now have 250 levels. CBW, you are OP, sir. Mm, tasty. So what we want is the nuclear levels. reactor. Right, Do you want to try it? <laughs> Who, me? Oh, just uh, uh, no juniors here. <laughs> yeah, I have. I have right, a sweet so uranite. Yeah, you, you have one too, dude. Yep. Oh, that's not too bad. You should try oh. this one. Nice, I'm making 11,000 RF a tick. That's cool. You should try this one. Now, can I turn just this on and off? Out. Redstone. Just smack. Should. Just go smack. Hmm. <laughs> Absurd. You're all broken. You should come get some experience. Yeah, if you want a bit of XP, this sword is kind of good for it. <laughs> so now if I add redstone here, Plus production, plus fuel consumption. That's 16k R of a tick. Now, here's the question. Will we stop using uraninite when this thing fills up? That's the main question I have right now. It's got an 18 million RF buffer, which is cool. Turns out you can uh, split the uh, enchanted books, too. Oh, yeah, with the anvil. I forgot about that. Yeah. Oh, good. I don't need to bother porting my other mod. Oh, look, 300 <laughs> XP. 300. Right. GG. Yeah. OP. Somebody said we have to update power by the, by the, by the way. Do we? Why? Yeah. Uh, there's like a UI bug where like none of the UI seems to work. It doesn't. 
So it says stored 983 millibuckets, so I'm gonna let this sit. But it doesn't look like it's using redstone or uraninite at the moment, so that's kind of good news. Uh, I think it burns it continuously, actually. See the using number? Yeah, but the using number, but like the stored isn't going down. Nor is the stored redstone value. So I think yeah, because the buffer is full, it stopped running. No, I don't think it does. Because I've, I've left mine overnight on the server, and I've come back and it's run out of fuel because... So, Dyer, if you look at the using number, it's using less than a millibucket a day. Yeah, right. so it takes a while for it to tick down in the UI. Yeah. Redstone, it burned through pretty quickly, though. It's not using any of that right now, either. Unless it's because I have the lever on. Maybe that's why. I don't know. Oh, you might have turned it off with redstone. That's possible. Well, I'm going to drain some RF now. But it's not draining fast enough because my generator is making 11 and my cables can only do 5. See, now it burned up the redstone pretty quickly. So now if I turn you off, are you still using? So you're at 980. So if I leave you on, you're at 979. I mean, it does slowly use up the uraninite, for sure. Absolutely true. 978. I think it's burning it continuously. I have the lower tier than you, so I only have the hardened, not the blazing bone. So I just filled up my buffer, so I'm going to see what happens now. 974 uraninite. It's definitely using redstone now, 973. You know what? I think the redstone mode is working, but the UI is just bugged and not telling me that it's enabled. Because with, yeah. with the redstone signal applied, it's no longer draining either redstone or uraninite. Or is it? No, it is. Okay, no, it is. So that redstone signal is doing nothing. We'll okay, break you, this. Always. You've got it on it's... ignored at the moment. Well, yeah, but look, like I click it and it immediately clicks off. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, mine's doing the same. Yeah, yeah there that's... Are some UI issues. Somebody, somebody told me if we update the mod, that's fixed. Okay, well, do you know where to link it? So hey, here's another on. thing I noticed. It stopped draining redstone and uraninite when I removed the cable. So I'm thinking, oh wait, well now we're doing something. What are we using power for? Where's power going? Because we shouldn't be draining power. Is it going into the cables? Do cables have a loss? Something, something is slightly lossy. I know that. I don't think the cables have a... Well, maybe that's new. Something is definitely using stuff because I've, I've noticed a bit of a loss too. I wonder if it's... Because I, I, so I as I said, I've logged in. My base is theoretically doing nothing. Right. And I come back next morning and I've gone from uh, 200 Euronite to none. So, do you have um do you have mechanism machines going? Does mechanism drain power continuously? I don't know. We're those those same. are the only yeah, machines I really have hooked up. It's either that or the you know what? It might be the energizing no, the energizing rods look okay. Oh for me, you know what it was for me? It was the XNet controller. What was chat saying? The XNet controller. Yeah, it's the oh. XNet controller. But yeah, so my reactor right now is not losing either redstone or uraninite. So I think the reactor turns off when it doesn't need to run. I think that's that's a thing for sure. All right, but it is wrapping up point for the episode. So Darwell20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will come back next time and uh, look at what else we can do. So it looks like the coolant, it doesn't use all that fast and it doesn't use water while it has coolant in there. So that's kind of good. It means we don't have to automate water. We just have to water automate coolant. But this generates a lot of power. Like a lot of power. All right. Uh, so Devil 20 signed off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will come back next time and uh, play a little bit more. But now we've got really good power gen. And that's kind of good news. All right, guys. Take it easy.